In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve neck and shoulder tension in a matter of seconds. I'm going to show you exercises that will help you if you have neck and shoulder tension just on one side or if you're trying to relieve neck and shoulder tension that's going straight down the center. I'm going to talk about one of the quick fixes that people often recommend and I'm also going to show you how you can get rid of your neck and shoulder tension when massage just doesn't work. So if you're tired of paying for a massage every week or month and you're tired of seeing the chiropractor all the time to get rid of this neck and shoulder tension, then stay tuned. Let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. First, I want to talk about a solution that can be really helpful and it can knock out shoulder and neck tension really fast. But I want to tell you right up front, it doesn't work for everybody. And if you've already tried this and you're like, uh, I've already seen this and it doesn't work, don't worry. We're going to go to my next secret sauce fixes for your neck tension. But first, let's cover this. Grab yourself a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or a racquetball. Go against the wall. If you have tension on your left side of your neck, take that ball, put it there against the wall, and put that left side of your neck, put the muscle tissue into that ball, and let that muscle tissue, that meat, relax against the ball. The goal here is to have a medium amount of pressure. You're not trying to jam as hard as you can because guess what? There's important stuff around your neck that you should not be trying to break. So you're just trying to get a little bit of pressure in there, relax it, get those muscles to ease up. Trace the lines of muscle that go all along the side of your neck. Now, if you are somebody who doesn't really even have muscle there, then this solution is probably not a good idea for you. And the next thing we're gonna talk about, the secret sauce for fixing your neck and shoulder tension is what you wanna do. If this does work, go ahead and do it on both sides. Get it on that right side. You know, use a bigger ball. If you're a bigger person, you have bigger shoulders, use a soft ball and get it up against the wall and that'll help you a lot. But if you're finding that you're doing this and it's not really working or you've done massage and you've seen chiropractors and massage therapists endlessly trying to get rid of this neck and shoulder tension, it just never goes away, then we're gonna go to the next strategy, which will work. The big secret to relieving neck and shoulder tension when massage is not working is that atrophy aches. That means that muscles that are weak and underused hurt. They will form knots, they'll feel tense because you're not working them. Now, how does that apply to your neck and shoulder tension? Well, if you have one-sided neck and shoulder tension, then you actually may need to strengthen the muscles on that side. You may need to strengthen the muscles on the other side. Now, you might be thinking, how do I do that and how do I know which to do? It's really simple. So first, we're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna put it onto the left side of your head, like so, okay? Then, you're going to be pulling this way, meaning the neck muscles here are trying to pull the head that way and your hand is resisting the pull. So you're not really getting anywhere. You're just feeling the muscles firing here. Now, once you can feel those muscles fire, you just hold that for five to 10 seconds and then relax. You're gonna feel like those muscles had to work and then turn off. Then we're gonna do it again. Five to 10 seconds and then relax, okay? Then you can see how that feels. I have found that whenever there's neck tension on this side of my neck, it's because this side of my neck was actually being underused and needed to actually be woken up. Now we can get a little more funky with it, a little more advanced. You can actually go into a bit of a tilt. So you're actually tilting over like this. If you don't have the shoulder mobility to keep hanging on, you can just use your other hand here and then resist as you're trying to go down that way. When you're doing these contractions for five to 10 seconds, you're not doing them crazy hard. You're shooting for a low medium contraction. And as you get better at this, you can make that a little bit harder, but you're not trying to grunt and squeeze and bust your head and neck off, right? You're just trying to feel those muscles fire and gradually you can increase the intensity and output level, okay? So that's for the left side. If the left side is feeling funky and you do that, you can move your head around, see how it feels. Did that fix it? If it did, awesome. If it doesn't, then go ahead and go to the other side. So left hand goes up and over, or you can use your right hand if you want to. Whatever works for you is fine. And then you're gonna be pushing, feeling the muscles on this side, again, with a low medium contraction, holding it for five to 10 seconds, and then relaxing, and then explore the range. Can you go a little bit further? 
How do those muscles feel? Are they strong? If you feel like one side is obviously stronger than the other, then you're gonna work on the weaker side. You can still do the exercise on both sides, but make sure you do extra for the weaker side so that the muscles balance out from side to side. Now, let's say you do this on both sides and you're feeling like, okay, well, I found that going this direction does make it seem better, um, but it still feels a little funky. There's another thing you can try, which is another missing direction that people never work on and never use resistance for, and that's turning your head side to side. So a lot of times we just live our lives looking this way. We rarely ever look to the sides unless we're driving our cars, and usually that means we're just looking to the right. So what we wanna do is work on the muscles that rotate the head and neck, because those can be asymmetrical. Those can also cause some of that weird neck tension that needs relief. My God, does it need relief? So we're gonna take a hand. I'm gonna to rotate to my left. This, this hand is just resisting my attempt to rotate. And I'm slowly allowing my head and neck to twist so I can explore the full range of motion. I'm gonna go all the way around. Here's looking at you, kid. Still resisting. And then I'm gonna slowly rotate back to center, but now it's like my neck muscles are resisting the push of my hands, okay? And then I'm back to center. Wee, so that's gonna turn on a bunch of these deeper neck muscles. I'm gonna show it to you this way, facing you. I'm just twisting, 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 resisting, resisting, still resisting, and then Slowly, now the neck is doing the resisting. Resisting, 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 cool. And just like the other exercise, you can test both sides. See what makes you feel better. One of those two variations will almost definitely help you kick in the right muscles in your neck, which will help relieve that gnawing, aching tension that just won't go away when you massage it. Okay, make sure to test both sides and see what the effect is. One direction may provide you instant relief. I know that for me, generally, if I feel anything on this left side of my neck, that if I do strengthen the muscles on the left side, it's gonna make everything feel a whole heck of a lot better and it's almost instantaneous. Whether you're doing the side tilts or you're doing the rotations, just do sets of five repetitions in each direction if you're doing both directions. And if you have a weaker side, then make sure you do an extra set for the weaker side. That will help you fix that neck tension quickly. If you get neck tension going down the center of the back of your neck, and it doesn't feel really one-sided, it's just like right down here and it just doesn't feel good, then you can do this exercise to relieve your neck tension in about 10 to 30 seconds. So you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them behind your head here, just a little bit above the very base of your skull, and then you're going to resist. So your hands are pushing forward and your head and neck are pushing back. So it's gonna look like nothing's happening. I'm just pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. My hands and arms are resisting. Nothing's happening except I'm getting muscle activation all around here. So as I'm pushing back, I'm holding. I'm feeling those muscles work, still going for light to medium intensity here. I'm not trying to break anything. Feeling those muscles work, holding it for five to 10 seconds and maybe even longer if you can and then relaxing and then doing it again. So we're just pushing back and pushing back, feeling those muscles work, holding and then relaxing. So those muscles are gonna fire up. This is also gonna help with um, hunchback posture. It's also gonna help with forward head posture because we're teaching these muscles to create extension in the spine here, okay? We're getting the cervical spine to extend and then that's straightening things out. That's working muscles that are often stuck in this position, right? Then we're going to look down. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're getting strength through a bigger range, uh, the full range of motion. So we don't wanna only strengthen right here. We also wanna work and challenge those muscles in this position. So again, careful with the tension, just make sure you can feel those muscles working, feeling all of these trying to lift up. 
lift up, lift up, and they're just working, 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 and then I'm going to relax, okay? So that variation helps strengthen those muscles in a more lengthened position, and you may also find this position helpful, which is to be looking up and doing the same thing, but now my it's like my hands are going up towards the ceiling, and my head and neck are pushing down, right? So I'm just resisting, resisting with the hands, firing those neck muscles, and relaxing. I personally find it generally helpful to be in this position or in that more neutral position to get those muscles firing. You may find looking up also helps you, but you're gonna need to experiment and see which one seems to help. Another thing you can do that may relieve that tension in there is to take your hands, put them under your chin, look up, and then use your hands to resist as you come down. This is gonna fire muscles in the front of your neck. It's gonna fire your neck flexors. Doing this can actually relieve the neck tension in the back of your neck. As the muscles up here start stabilizing your skull and stabilizing your head on top of the neck, you may feel the tension in these suboccipital muscles melt away. The way this works, my concept of it is your body, all your muscles are trying to stabilize the skull on top of the neck. And if these muscles are constantly doing high tension work, these muscles may feel like eh, they don't have to do anything. And as long as they're not doing anything, these muscles keep having to work. So if you can turn these muscles on in front, the muscles back here get to chill out a little bit. So we just strengthen these muscles doing Slow, controlled, resisted repetitions. Sets of five are generally pretty good. And just make sure you're not using in super high crazy intensity and making things rupture in your head and in your neck. You're just going light to medium, okay? So nice and slow and controlled and try that. So you have those two options. If the neck tension is back here, you're going resisting, going back and resisting going forward, okay? Those two options, one or both may be super helpful for you, so try them out. Do slow contractions, five to 10 seconds, even 30 seconds on those static holds if you can, and those will help kick in the muscles that will get rid of those atrophy aches and all that neck and shoulder tension. How often should you be doing any of these exercises? Well, the reality is it's gonna really depend. If you're somebody who has really weak neck muscles, you may have to do these fairly often to start building that strength back up, but you're gonna need to pay attention so that you don't make yourself so sore that you cripple yourself. Make sure that you're spacing things out enough, you're giving yourself enough rest. I would start with just once a day or once every two days if you have really, really weak neck muscles and then you can gradually build up to every day if that feels necessary and if that feels like it's really helping you feel stable, controlled, and without neck tension. The most time efficient way to progress these exercises is to just gradually increase the amount of resistance that you are giving with your hands. That's going to make those muscles work harder and it will also mean that they are stronger so that you then no longer have to do these exercises all the time. The goal with any of these exercises is to get the muscles of your neck strong enough and balanced enough that your neck and shoulders don't have tension so that they feel good the vast majority of the time and only on occasion do you need to use these techniques to relieve your neck and shoulder tension. If you found this video helpful and you want to leave me a tip to support this channel, please use that thanks button or the PayPal link that you'll find in the description box. I really appreciate it and I promise I will not use your money to buy myself a neck brace to fix my neck tension. And if you don't want to leave me any money, that's totally fine. I don't care. It's totally cool. Just hit the like button, share this video, subscribe with notifications on, and as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.